Kahaina. I'm Ahu Ke Kahu Cardwell with the Kawani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. The confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court has very significant implications for the United States, but it also is very significant for this. So what, you might ask, does Brett Kavanaugh becoming a justice on the U.S. Supreme Court have to do with the Hawaiian Kingdom? What meaning does it have for Kanaka Maoli, for Hawaiians? That's right, because there is now a conservative majority on the U.S. Supreme Court, any attempt to create a Hawaiian tribal government will now ultimately be voted down by that very court. This means U.S. federal recognition, or a state-created Hawaiian tribe, or any scheme involving recognition by the U.S. Department of Interior, is now dead. Stop and think for a moment. Any attempt by Robin Danner, the fake state of Hawaii, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, or anyone else will trigger lawsuits brought forth by politically conservative organizations like Judicial Watch. These lawsuits will ultimately end up in the U.S. Supreme Court and, with a conservative majority, will lose. End of story. It's over. So, what should those who have been pushing for some kind of Fed wreck all these years now start to focus on instead? Those who claim they want to improve the lives of Kanaka Maoli should now be focusing on one thing, putting Hawaiians back on the aina, the land, so they can have title to the land and live a life of independence. That's the one thing that makes a real difference. Now, if you think this information is important, share this free Hawaii TV video with all your friends online. That's how you can support a free Hawaii. I'm Ahu Ke Kahu Cartwell with the Kawani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.